one of our favorites, of course, is the Columbia Restaurant Group. And at least when I think of the Columbia Restaurant Group, I think of the lovely Andrea Gonsmart. And she wanted to go ahead and do a little video for us and maybe give us something to cheers about this morning, or at least cheers with. Take a look. Welcome back, friends. We're going to do another Columbia Restaurant Classic, and that is our sangria. When you come to the Columbia, you can have red sangria, you can have white sangria, you can have sparkling sangria, which we call cava sangria. But today, we are going to make our most traditional and most loved sangria, and that is red sangria. One of the easiest, most wonderful shortcuts to making sangria is using our sangria mix. Of course, you can make it from scratch at home and do your simple syrup and add all your juices. But today, I'm gonna to show you how to make our packaged sangria extra special. We're gonna add one and a half cups of cold water. We're gonna stir to combine the mix with the water. So the next step is going to be add a 750 milliliter bottle of red wine. Today we're using a Tempranillo Cabernet Sauvignon blend, but honestly you can use any red wine that you have on hand. But this wine in particular is available at our gift shops, Columbia Restaurant in Ybor City and Sarasota. So now we're gonna add our red wine to our water. Your sangria is technically ready to go. All you have to do is add ice. But I'm gonna teach you how to take it one step further and make it extra special for you and your friends. The next thing I'm gonna do is add an ounce and a quarter of brandy. At the Columbia restaurant, we use the Taurus 5 brandy. And if you don't have a bottle of brandy at home, go ahead and go pick yourself up a couple of mini brandies. I'm gonna add the traditional fruits that you usually see in sangria, especially when you're at the Columbia restaurant. A slice an orange in half, and I'm gonna squeeze the juice into our sangria. Now we need to make the garnishes for the rest of our class. Traditionally, sangria at the Columbia restaurant is always garnished with one cherry. So I'm gonna save one for our glass. And these will be for later after they've been soaking in the sangria. One for the glass and one for the rim. So the only thing we're missing for our sangria is ice. That's how you make an extra special Columbia sangria at home. Of course, if you wanna add diced pears to it, diced apples, which is a personal favorite of mine, a cinnamon stick, you can make your sangria to whatever your taste prefers. But this is the Columbia Restaurant Classic Red Sangria. Cheers. Nice. I love her. Confession time. I am not a sangria fan. It's not something I go to. It's not something that I order at restaurants, except the Columbia Red Sangria. I love it there. I crave it so, so good. And I'm glad that Andrea showed us some little secrets there. They put that brandy in there. I want to be stuck in quarantine with her and some really good chefs and things. That's all I could think of is, man, mm -hmm. that's the house. That's the family to be in quarantine with. You know what? And, and Andrea, if you're watching this morning, I'm going to throw this out there. Earlier in the week, I actually shared on our Facebook Live show, which we do every weekdays at 11 a.m., with two HGTV stars from 100 Day Dream Home, Mika and Brian. I shared that I wanted to quarantine again if this ever would happen in their backyard. I may change it. I may want to do it in Andrea's backyard instead. I think I can see it happening right there. So just a heads up, Andrea, you may see a weird visitor hanging out in your property. Well, we're going to ask her about that next week because she's going to join us. She's also yes. going to be talking about how Goody Goody is going to be opening too. Yes. So, uh, of course, we're going to talk about the Columbia Restaurant Group. So, again, so thankful for her sharing that recipe. Look delicious.